Hey everyone! So today I am out on the Uncompahgre Plateau here in western Colorado to see if we can film and collect a few of our local Parnassians. Uh, the species here is Parnassius smintheus sayi and uh, they should be out. It's the 28th of May. I've already seen a few so let's go investigate and see what we can find. The habitat here is kind of a transition between pinyon juniper and uh, coniferous ponderosa pine, kind of taiga biome. Interestingly, <laughs> Seems like a trend here in western Colorado. Uh, the Parnassius smintheus sayi is really the most predominant butterfly in this area. I do find some other things, but uh, the number one butterfly that we'll see today is the Parnassians. And uh, it's always a little breezy out here, so if you hear the wind in the camera, I apologize. Beautiful today. They are far easier to catch than they are to film. You have to be careful collecting here because of the cactus. Butterfly collecting can be hazardous to your feet here. See what I mean? I walk a little distance, and I get cactus. Colorado has three subspecies of Parnassius smintheus. Uh, the one I'm looking for today is uh, Parnassius smintheus sayi, which is a low altitude Parnassian, which may seem kind of strange that they would exist in this kind of a uh, habitat. They fly here in Colorado uh, I don't know around 7,000 feet and so 
they are a low altitude. We also have two other subspecies, Parnassius smintheus pseudorogeri, which is in high altitude San Juan Mountains. And uh, I'm gonna try and record and document that subspecies in uh, July when they come out. And then we have Parnassius smintheus uh, hermidor, which is another high altitude species that lives in the central Rockies. So Colorado has three uh, named subspecies. They're all very similar. Hey everyone, so I'm back in my private insect collection to show you uh, the three Parnassius subspecies. And so I have some representatives here of the three subspecies, both male and female, that I uh, took out of my collection so we could compare and contrast them. Okay, so here are the three representatives that we have here in Colorado. Like I said, um, they're all uh, members of Parnassius smintheus. The one on the left here is uh, Parnassius smintheus hermidor, and this is a uh, butterfly that lives in the central Rockies of Colorado. So if we would to go to places like Loveland Pass, uh, Guanella Pass, um, up near uh, places like uh, Leadville, uh, Cottonwood Pass, we would see uh, this representative. Above is the male, and then below is the female. So you can see the female has more markings. Uh, they're uh, a little prettier, have more red spots. In the middle is what I was collecting up on Uncompagre Plateau. Uh, this is Parnassius smintheus sayi. It's a butterfly that's a little bit bigger, and uh, both the males and females tend to be bigger than the other two subspecies. But you can see uh, my female here is a really gorgeous specimen, nice uh, markings, and uh, both of these came right from where I was collecting. The third representative is Parnassius smintheus pseudorogeri, and this is a southern uh, mountain species. This uh, subspecies lives in the San Juan Mountains, so if I were to go to Red Mountain Pass or Uncompagre Peak, uh, Lake City area, I would find Parnassius smintheus pseudorogeri. And uh, I'm going to be making a, a video of that habitat here very soon. Uh, and you'll be able to see me collecting some of these. So the male and the female. You can see this male doesn't have as many markings, perhaps, as the other two uh, subspecies. And then we have our female. I don't have one. Uh, I keep looking every year uh, when I go up to the San Juans. I look... Uh, for this, some of the females of Pseudorogeri can be really dark in color, almost black, kind of a black translucent. I've seen them out in the field, but I haven't had the opportunity to collect them. So um, hopefully one of these days I'll be able to get one. Absolutely gorgeous. Well, I've had some luck uh, filming, and uh, the Parnassians are emerging. I'm only seeing males right now. The females are a little prettier, 
as you know with Parnassians, the females are usually uh, more sought after than the males. Uh, might have to come back in a few days to see if I can find some females. Um, but now that I've filmed a little bit, uh, let's see if we can collect some. Okay, so uh, here is one of the Parnassians. Just trying to be really careful with them. I've seen quite a few. They're really hard to film, but um, I've only seen males so far. So there he is, if you'll focus on it. I witnessed a mating of Parnassians. I watched the male fly around. He just landed right on top of the female. And then I was able to record it. Amazing. I didn't think there would be any females out today. I hadn't seen any flying. And uh, the one that uh, the male found was just sitting there on the ground and uh, probably newly enclosed, female, beautiful specimen. I went ahead and filmed them and then I 
let them be. I'm not about to take a newly mated pair out of the environment, but man, that was awesome. Let's see if we can find some more females. The clouds have kind of come in, but uh, they're just kind of spotty clouds, you can see. So we should get some more sun here in a few minutes. I'll just wait out the cloud over the sun. Good for filming, but uh, we'll see if we can collect a few specimens now. Uh, I'd say I've had a pretty successful filming. And uh, let's see if we can collect a few. This is a really healthy population, so, you know, I'm gonna take a few out for uh, a friend of mine who needs some Parnassians and uh, then we'll be on our way. So, wow, I'm shocked at that. And I'm shocked I had it on film, that was awesome. so blessed being able to come out here in nature and look at this beautiful landscape here. We take too much for granted. We gotta step back and look at the wildflowers every now and then. it was getting a little cloudy and uh, the wind was picking up a little bit so I made it back to my car and the road uh, pretty successful one interesting thing is at the beginning of my day I mentioned that this Parnassian was the most prominent butterfly around here crazy thing I did not see any other butterflies with the exception of one morning cloak Nymphalis antiopa. I saw one morning cloak, but I did not see any other butterflies. And uh, I do see Ceononympha here and some other things, uh, Euphidrius, uh, Closini. Didn't see anything but the Parnassians and one morning cloak. Uh, so I'd like to hear what you have to think about that. It's kind of interesting. Despite all the wildflowers, I saw bees, wasps, all kinds of things, but uh, no other butterflies. Interesting. Hey, so we're back up at the Parnassian site. It's a week later. It's now uh, June 6th and what a difference a week makes. We've got females everywhere. They're actually, some of them are slightly torn up, which doesn't surprise me because it's so windy up here all the time. 
We've had a few storms in the last week, but the Parnassians are everywhere. So uh, we're going to be recording some more, see if we can get some more video of them, and uh, I'll see if I can collect a few females today. Another male. There's a lot more out this week. Female. They're darker and they have more spots. She's perfect, so she's a keeper. Should have just pinched you already, but I'm trying to be nice. Oh, she's got a Nixie. I'm glad I didn't pinch you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think. Uh, look forward to hearing from you and take care. We'll see you later.